हे वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन गाइज दिस इज आमिर हुसैन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग ट्रिक आई नो यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू फिक्स फाइव जी वाई फाई इज नॉट शोइंग ऑन योर ओल्ड लैपटॉप और हाउ टू कनेक्ट फाइव जी वाई फाई टू योर ओल्ड टू पॉइंट फोर जी लैपटॉप इवन द फाइव जी वाई फाई इज शोइंग ऑन योर स्मार्टफोन एंड अदर डिवाइस बट नॉट इन योर लैपटॉप सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स फिक्स इट आउट So here I have a old Lenovo laptop. This laptop has Intel Core i3 fourth generation processor. You may got a new internet connection and people these days started to use a dual band router. This is a 5G plus 2.4G router. Let me show you how it works. If you log in to your router in the network section you will see a lan connection a 5g wi-fi option here the ssid is tricky amir 5g and here is the 2.4g connection the ssid i set here is only 2.4g and here is my oneplus 8 pro 5g handset if i turn on the wi-fi here you can see the 5g network and the 2.4g network both are showing in this smartphone and i have connected to the 5g network as well so what's wrong with this fourth generation laptop why 5g network is not showing on so let's find out why not If you open the laptop and if you access the Wi-Fi card of the laptop here is the Wi-Fi card of this laptop if you check the back of this card here it's written 2.4 ds and 2.4 fh1 so that means this laptop only supports 2.4g wi-fi and this card is not easily upgradable so before showing you the solution first let me show you how much speed i am getting with this 2.4g wi-fi card so here is the speedtest.net website and i have a bsnl fiber connection in india and here is the download speed showing for 42 mbps and upload speed showing average 23 mbps and that is very slow so what is the best solution for this issue that is getting a external usb wi-fi 5g adapter this is tp link archer t2u plus and here is the smaller one tp link archer tu nano so i am going to test both of them and will show you which is the best for you So let's start with the Archer TU Plus. Here is our Wi-Fi adapter with an antenna. It is right now covered with a plastic peel. Let me remove it so I can show you how actually it look like. So the antenna is matte black and the dongle itself is glossy. You can rotate the antenna 180 degree according to your uses and you can tilt it as well. To use it all you have to do you have to plug it in any USB port of your laptop or PC it's an plug and play USB adapter no driver needed in the new versions of windows or linux it has a green led indicator shows the uses of the wifi whether it's connected or transmitting data so once you plugged it in your computer go to the wifi icon in the taskbar and here you will see a new thing that is wifi drop down menu this is it just click on it and select the wifi 2 now here you can see the tricky amir 5g wifi is now started to show so here i am going to connect to the 5g wifi network just have to enter the wifi password and hit the enter key Now as you can see the 5G Wi-Fi is connected in this old laptop now it's time to test the speed so here i am again with the speedtest.net website let's begin the test so here you can see the download speed is touching more than 120 mbps the upload speed is touching more than 140 mbps that sounds great and here are the final results and that is way better than the internal wifi adapter speed with my new tp link archer t2u plus now let's also check the archer t2u nano out of the box it comes like this protected in a small plastic case so here is archer t2u nano 
It looks so portable and small. The USB is gold plated. It's easy to plug and play. The plastic material looks premium and glossy and it has also a green LED indicator. Now let's test it and connect it to the Wi-Fi. Same in the drop down menu, select the Wi-Fi 2. Here it's showing Wi-Fi 3 because of the earlier installation. And now I'm going to connect to the 5G network and we'll test the speed. So here is the speed test website. Here you can see the download speed it's giving around 120 Mbps and the upload speed is touching 70 Mbps. Here is the final result. The Archer T2U Nano is not better than the Archer T2U Plus but it is better than the internal Wi-Fi adapter. At least 5G network is showing. <laughs> So here are the comparison between the internal Wi-Fi adapter Archer T2U Nano and the T2U Plus. You can compare them side by side and if you see it from the price point, the T2U Plus is more costly than the T2U Nano. The T2U Plus wins cause of its antenna, it provides the wide range and also produces less heat than the T2U Nano and you can buy them from the link in the video description. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you really enjoyed and found this video useful, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more content like this. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you in my next video.